Hello guys, Matt and Sully again. Today we are going to try and tidy up the retrieve a little bit. As you saw in the last video, uh, if, if you watched the last video, if you didn't, highly recommend you go watch it and uh, it'll give you a bit of context into what we're doing today. Basically, when Sully comes back uh, to me with a retrieve, he, he sort of drops it. Um, he will put it in my hands, but he'll sort of throw it into my hands more so than sit there and let me take it from him. So what I'm doing today is I've come to a little green lane and uh, I'm going to keep him on the long lead to start with. And what we're going to do, we're just going to throw out some retrieves, probably probably only about five, six metres in front of us. And uh, get him to bring him back and what we're hoping to achieve, it's not going to happen instantly, but what we're hoping to achieve is to eventually get him to sit up in front of us holding the retrieve until we say dead or whatever to get him to drop it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to walk Sully up and down a couple of times, just get him used to where we are. We haven't been here before, so it's going to be quite exciting for him. So I want him to sniff the area out a little bit. Uh, just beforehand, I want to make sure that he knows that he's not allowed up on the hedge, which he is going to try and jump up on. Um, he does always try to jump up onto hedge, hedge rows like this, so uh, we'll just let him get that out of your system first, and then we'll do a bit of training with him. Go on. Shelly. Shelly, sit up. Good lad. Ah, good boy. Shall we walk on? So guys, we're just going to do a bit of retrieving with him here. We're going to start off with the tennis ball. Tennis ball's got a few pheasant feathers on. Uh, just tied together with a couple of rubber bands. And uh, we'll see, see how he gets on. He does like this ball, so hopefully... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully it'll entice him to hang on to it for a bit longer and uh, not drop it at my feet like he normally does. So, get out. Good lad. Come here. Shit. Good lad. Dead. Good boy. Well, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Not first time anyway. So, that's new. Good lad. Get out. Good boy. Good lad. Sit up. Good boy. Dead. Good lad. Good boy. Sit up. Well. So far, so good. Get out. Good lad. Come here. Good lad. Sit. Good boy. Dead. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Well, guys, he's uh, he's actually doing surprisingly well with this. Let me uh, let me try one retrieve with the dummy and see if it's the same for this. I I, I wouldn't have thought it will be, but uh, we'll try it anyway. Get out, good lad, good boy. Sit up, nah. Dead, good boy, good boy. Sit up. So yeah, with the dummy, not so much. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll forget about the dummies for now, and uh, we'll actually just keep working with the tennis ball. If he's going to do it with the tennis ball, hopefully it will uh, eventually click with the dummy as well. So we'll uh, we'll keep doing with the tennis ball for now. And the reason I've got the pheasant feathers on, guys, I just want to get him used to having game in his mouth really um, I know it's not a lot but it's, it's a start if I was to use something like this one here this dummy with a big piece of feather on uh, wing on sorry uh, he's got a habit of dropping it and picking at it he doesn't rip it apart but he picks at it a bit so I'm trying to stop that I don't use this one at the moment what I do use is this smaller smaller dummy here and it's only got three three feathers on at the moment and he doesn't pick that one so I'm just steadily increasing the amount of feathers on the dummy uh, until he, d he doesn't care really because uh, we don't want him picking at it we don't want him picking at any game or uh, chewing any game or anything while we're out so what's this Sally? what's this let's see if we can get him to sit up and not run in sit up ah 
Shit up. Come here. Shit up. Get out. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. Shit up. Good lad. Good boy. Dead. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. And just there, guys, I just want to point out is I try to let him hold it as long as he can. When I see he's about to drop it, before he drops it, I say dead and I take it from him so that there's no... I don't want him to fail. I, I you know, I want him to succeed as, as often as he can, um, if not every time uh, it, with training. We don't want him to fail at all. So, so guys, this is only going to be a short video. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing uh, with Sully at the moment. Um, I feel like I don't want to post every every week the same same stuff. Sully, sit up. I don't want to post the same stuff every every week. I don't want you guys to get bored of watching it. Um, if you do want me to post the same stuff every week and keep you updated on a weekly basis, I'm more than happy to do so. But um, I think what we'll do is we'll try and mix it up a bit. Um, I've had a couple of people uh, message me on the different socials that I've posted on. And some of them have asked about some of the stuff I use, like the dummies and stuff. So I think what I'll do is the next video I do, um, I'll do a little bit of an update of how Sully's getting on with his lead training, retrieving, and obviously how he presents the retrieve to me as well because uh, that's going to be something that we are working on a lot um but yeah i'll the main part of that video is going to be the gear i use the leads um everything i mean i am by no means uh, a dog trainer i am merely a guy that has a dog that he absolutely loves and i want him to excel in what he is bred to do he's he's a working dog and that's what i want to do with him so um just winging it really um i've got some help uh locally uh, there's a chap over here who also does youtube his name's richard and uh he's been helping me out a lot actually with sully he's been giving me a lot of sound advice um i've been going up to his house and um he's been he's, he's really been helping me out i really am grateful for that uh today we uh went over a couple of retrieves with the starting pistol and Sully's never heard the starting pistol before and actually Sully is petrified of hoovers. The sound of the hoover freaks him out. He's got no interest in it, so I was a bit worried about the starting pistol. Uh but he was absolutely fine. Believe it or not, it was probably some of the best retrieves he's ever done. Um the second he heard that that shot, he he was focused. He it's almost like he knew what he needed to do, so get out been sat there nicely. Good lad. Good boy. Shut up. Good boy. Good boy. Dead. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Right guys, so I'm going to leave you there. Like I said, this is just a quick update letting you know what we're up to. Uh, the next video is going to more be a, a gun dog gear video of what I'm using for training and uh, just giving you a quick update of, of where we've gotten to. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, the comments really are fantastic to read. I will reply to all the comments. And uh, it's just nice to have some positive feedback or some negative feedback. I'm always open to uh, constructive criticism, you know, uh, definitely, especially as we're starting out. I don't have a clue what I'm doing with this YouTube thing and I don't really have a clue what I'm doing with this gun dog thing either, but we're winging it, ain't we, mate? Hey? Well, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.